Okay, so first of all, go down to the sheet name at the bottom and right click and go to view code. Then go to insert and insert a module. This is where we're going to create the macro. So I'll type in sub and then we need to give this macro a name. So I'll call it label underscore last underscore point and enter. Then we need to define a couple of variables. So I'll type dim s as series and then dim p as integer. And integer is just another name for a whole number. Then we need to create a for loop. So I'll type for each s in active chart dot series collection. Then we need to close the for loop by typing next. Now the active chart is the chart that is selected. So you have to select a chart before running this macro. And series collection is all of the series in the chart. And s is a variable which we have already defined, which is a series. So for each of these series in the active chart, we want it to make a change. So it will take the first series in the chart and apply that change. Then when it gets to next, it will loop back around to the beginning again and take the next series in the chart and apply the same change to it. And it will continue to loop through all of the series in the chart. So now we need to tell it what change we actually want it to make. And what we need to do if we want to add a data label to the last point is we need to work out what the index number of that last data point is. And we're going to do that by doing p is equal to s dot points dot count. So this is telling it to count the number of data points in the series. And because the index numbers in a series start at one for the first data point and then count up by one each time, the number of data points in the series is also the index number for the last data point. So now we can do s dot points and then open brackets and in here we can put p. And so now we are telling it that we want to do something to the last data point in the series. And what we want to do to it is apply data labels. Then because there are different types of data labels, we then need to tell it what type of data label we want. So I will put an underscore in here and then go to the next line and type show series name colon equals true because I want my data label to show me the name of the series. Then we also need to put in here show value colon equals false because by default the data label will always show you the value of that data point and I don't want that so we need to type in here show value equals false. Now we have the macro all set up we need to save this. In order to save this macro we need to save the excel spreadsheet as an Excel macro enabled workbook and save. Now I'll go back to my spreadsheet and actually make the chart. So I'll select the whole of this table and then go to insert and insert a scatter chart with smooth lines. Then I'll make this chart bigger. And then we need to make sure that this chart is selected before we run the macro. And then go to view and macros. And then select the name of the macro that we just made and run this macro. And now you'll see it's added the name of the series to the end of each of the lines. 
Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a macro that adds a data label to the last data point in all of the series. And that is everything.